Good morning. I want to share with you all the new art form that I've learned um, called Ikebana, which is a Japanese flower arrangement. Um, I learned just last week at uh, a Canada 150 initiative through a native um, home and native bloom display that we've had at City Hall and I uh, was fortunate enough to have that offer to a bunch of us um, through community associations and, uh, and the city. So I have here with me today, myself, and a whole host of goodies that I found out in nature. So I have some ferns, some lavender, um, and a bunch of things that I don't know and apparently they're called roadsideias because they were found on the roadside. Some beautiful little hydrangea bits here and of course um, to put everything into some oasis which is um, a floral foam which um, a lot of people do use in their flower arrangements. I also do have a small short little container which I've already filled with some water and, uh, and some of the foam, which you can see. And I have my coffee here from a local amazing Boku Bakery, an amazing um, artisan bakery that's just around the corner from, from us here at Granville Island. Um, and I must show you, happy Canada Day everyone. And I must show you our gorgeous view here. Uh, I can see some Canada flags up around the city, but this is our absolutely Amazing view of the city. Science world, downtown, oceanfront. We are so incredibly fortunate to live in this beautiful city and this beautiful home that we found um, for rent here in the city. So what I'm going to do first and what I learned at the workshop is, so I have all these leaves. I have some moss, which can be used. Um, afterwards at the end and then I also have some rocks if I need to um, assist with holding them down. So the idea is to create something to prepare the leaves first and to also create something that has almost a natural form and flow to it. Um, and I see I have a little spider here joining me from one of the plants that I picked up this morning which is lovely. So a pair of scissors is also important to have and a bowl of water um, just so that we're able to cut the stems in the water and then place them into our container um, so it doesn't shock them as much. So I have some I'll just call it roadside yet because I honestly don't have a clue of what it is and I'm just gonna start by preparing the leaves so it the art form does actually take place a lot in the formation of it um, and I'm going to cut it quite uh, this piece at quite an angle. I'm not going to cut this in water at the moment because it's not the right length. But I am going to cut that and just place it on the side here. Get rid of some stems that I don't need and then clean up afterwards. So same with this and this can be anything that you find. I mean please be wary of where you are um, gathering your pieces from um, as not all is publicly accessible. I did use something that was off the side of the road um, and I'm hoping and I, I do tend to ask nature as well. Um, I ask for a blessing to use the plants and some plants don't want to be trimmed. I do get that sense that some plants don't want to be trimmed. I have some grasses here as well to add a little bit of height. I'm not going to make this too complex, um, that I will cut in the water at a nice angle. We're fortunate enough to live in a city that is surrounded by so much greenery um, here in Vancouver, British Columbia. and. Um, there's so much to choose from here. Uh, I almost think this is rhododendron, but I'm not entirely sure. So I actually have two containers here that I'm going to 
um, fill. One is unfortunately in the other room, so I will do that later. And I also have some um, some cedar here, which is really lovely foliage. I, I used this actually over Christmas time to create my own wreath, which was really nice. And any leaves that you have left over that have fallen off, just use those, um, hold on to them until the end because you may use them to kind of fill up your container. So with the fern, I have chosen some kind of newer growing fern because I found um, last week the ones I was using were very established and dropped a lot of pollen onto um, my desk at work. And how we're going to prepare these is actually, so the height, the height of your display should be no more, generally, no more than two and a half times your container. So I'm only going to go up about, about that high. So when I'm looking at the fern here, I'm actually going to strip off, I'm just going to take a look here, so that's about two and a half times. I'm going to strip off the leaves down at the bottom just by pulling them gently. And I'm going to pull off a little bit more because I need to cut that just to about here on a nice angle. And just because you have a whole pile of things doesn't mean you need to use them all. Um, it was really neat, we were playing around with the ferns and recognizing how beautifully um, they can move. So you can actually very gently bend them almost into a different shape or structure, if you like. That didn't quite work. But the one I was working with, these are quite pliable, um, generally speaking. You can almost fold them and, and um, tie them into another structure. I do love ferns just the way that they are and just note that there is a front and a back to them you can see those spores out on the back I have definitely brought a few bugs home with me and they're flying around here so I'm going to actually just begin to put that into my display here but just by poking it kind of into the end here it's gonna create a little bit more angle so you can see a bit more of what I'm doing on the table. There we go. So that creates a nice beginning to the structure. I'm gonna do one more of these ferns, maybe a little bit shorter, just as a nice backdrop. And again, a nice angle on that. I'm actually making this for a girlfriend today. I'm going over to her home. She's invited um, my partner and I over for a Canada Day celebration uh, this evening. Again, just to prepare the leaves, which I should have done beforehand. I'm gonna hold off on that one. So it really is just playing around with what you feel how you want it to be. Now, she did mention, the woman who was teaching us, not to do a lot of cross-leaf work. So, you can see here I'm creating a bit of a structure. Isn't that beautiful? All the different colors of the greenery. lovely by creating almost a 3d effect by by placing them in, in different angles if you do want to add a bit more height to some of the others um, the piece that I did cut to put in I actually have a few leftovers so I can prop just put a few of those in there if I want to add if I have some shorter branches that need a little bit more of a boost. So 
So I wonder how everyone is enjoying their Canada Day. And in the U.S., we have um, um, July 4th upcoming in a few days. I think I have enough greenery in that. So what I want to do now is just add a couple of the hydrangea bits. Again, these are going to be quite short. We are excited to be having our 150th anniversary of Confederation here in Canada this year, which is quite exciting. There, isn't that pretty? It's so simple. I find it quite therapeutic, this beautiful hydrangea. The foliage on it is just so lovely. I'm going to add a little bit more height to that one. stem on that, so not so much height on that one. I really don't need to add a, a whole lot more to that. That is already got such a beautiful, lovely structure to it. It's quite full. So I could essentially at this moment, I may just add another leaf or two, but I think, I think that's almost it. I might just want to add one more in the back here, I think. Again, we're just going to do that, make it a little bit higher. A really simple and quick I will add some moss on top just to fill in some of the holes and we'll add some water afterwards because these flowers do love to suck up water and the moss adds a little bit more of that moisture Beautiful. And there we have a very simple and quick flower arrangement display that you can make very easily on your own and give as a beautiful gift to a friend. Thanks for joining me today. Enjoy your lovely summers. All the best to you. Namaste.